What's up guys? I'm Whitney and this is Olivia. You can find us at Dear Natural 85, Natural 85 Vlogs. But today we're visiting Story Circle at Cool School. And the story we're reading today is A Tortoise and the Hare. Are you ready for story time? Our story today is The Tortoise and the Hare. No, not that kind of hare. Hair, like rabbit. No, hair is another name for a rabbit. That's better. Okay, so our story begins at the Animal County Fair. The animal's favorite event at the fair is the big race. The hare had been bragging all week how he was the fastest animal around and that he could beat anybody. Yeah, nobody can beat me. Who would challenge him? Maybe a super fast greyhound or a racehorse or maybe even a cheetah. Cheetahs are really, really, really fast. You say you're the fastest animal around. Are you saying that you could beat a cheetah? Any cheetah that races me should just worry about getting dust in their eyes. You know what I mean? Cause I'll be running so fast, I'll be kicking up dust. <laughs> a lot of cheetahs, a lot of dust. Huh? Can we get a PA on this please? <laughs> The hare was talking so much trash, no one wanted to race him at all. When Mayor Moose called all the runners up to the starting line, only the hare showed up, kicking up dust in everybody's faces. Rude. When his dust cloud cleared, everyone saw that one other animal actually dared to show up for the race. It was Tina, a tortoise, which is a fancy way of saying a turtle. Can you believe that? A turtle? Are you kidding me? You're one of the slowest animals of all time. Maybe a snail slower, or maybe a sloth. Hmm? What are you thinking? Inquiring minds want to know, what are you thinking? Well, I've never run in a race before, and I think it's important to try new things. So, here I am. Don't you know you're gonna lose? You can't beat me. <laughs> the hare says you will definitely lose. Would you care to come in on that? I like a challenge, but I have to admit, I bet on the hare. Then Mayor Moose said, on your marks, get set. And they're off. Well, the hare ran off. The tortoise began her slow walk towards the finish. And she Whoa. was slow, really slow. Meanwhile, the hare had run so far ahead that he looked back and thought, you know, why not stop for a little snack? The hare munched on some carrots from the little red hen's garden and the tortoise marched on. The hare hopped ahead further and then decided he would just stop again for a while and play some games on his phone. Maybe play some carrot crush, watch some cool school. Still, the tortoise kept walking. The crowd had actually begun to cheer her on. The hare heard the cheers and thought they were for him. They're already celebrating my victory. I bet they'll give me a giant trophy, one so big I could fill it up with water and swim in it. He practiced his victory dance. It went like this. The hare danced so hard, he got kind of tired and decided he'd just take a little nap. Hey. Why not? I have plenty of time. That tortoise is so slow. I kind of feel bad for her. At least she has a cool shell. Too bad she's not a ninja turtle. <laughs> As the hare slept, he dreamt of the finish line and all of his race winning glory. All the applause, signing autographs, his picture in all the newspapers with headlines that read, Hare defeats tortoise, and move over cheetah, local hare named fastest animal in the world. It was a very happy dream. And still the tortoise marched on. In fact, the tortoise marched right past the sleeping hare. And the tortoise is in the lead. I repeat, the tortoise is in the lead. Well, this made the crowd go wild. The noise of the crowd woke up the hare. Oh, and look, the tortoise is almost at the finish line. The hare jumped up from his nap and charged towards the finish. But the tortoise used all the energy she could muster and took one giant tortoise leap, which really isn't much of a leap at all. More like a small step, but hey, it was a lot for a tortoise. And she won! The tortoise beat the hare. And the tortoise has defeated the hare. I do not believe it, sports fans. The tortoise is the fastest animal in the land. The hare was not happy at all. He stomped and cried and threw an awful tantrum. You might say 
he was hopping mad. But the tortoise was very happy. The crowd cheered and gave her a giant trophy. She got her picture in all of the newspapers. She signed a lot of autographs and she got to be on TV. It was a great day at the Animal County Fair, one that all the town's animals would remember forever. It was a day they all learned that hard work and dedication can really pay off. They also would remember the funnel cake because the funnel cake was you know, really, really good that year. But mostly, they would remember that the champion of the big race was Tina the tortoise. She never gave up, she refused to quit, and because she kept on trying, she won the race. The end. Check out more from the Story Circle. Just click right over here for the whole playlist from Cool School. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later, bye. Today we're here at Cool School for the Story Circle. And today we're gonna to be reading you Jack and the Beanstalk. He saw a whole new world where everything was huge. Eek! It was a real live giant! Fee fi fo fum! I smell the feet of a little one! The giant had found Jack! He ran to the beanstalk. He slid down faster than that one time when he went down the big water slide at Six Flags. Phew! He made it! But not before the giant saw the beanstalk, and that was bad. That was very, very bad. Ha, 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 ha.